Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this guy. So I printed this out. I found this out in Thingiverse, and I thought this was actually pretty cool. Now, this was originally designed for Mavic, but it'll work on the Spark controller also. And what it is is just simply a base piece that fits into the controller like this. But one of the things I found interesting is the way that the designer designed this is to receive one of these ball heads, these cheap ball heads, that you can get off at Amazon or eBay. And I'll have the link down below uh, to where you can get these. And then uh, basically what you do is you take a quarter 20. Now I'm gonna use a quarter 20 nylon. I also have links to this below. I like it because it's lightweight. And long story short, you just screw this piece in here like this. And what's nice is this is uh, thumb screw. So it's basically gonna tighten down like this. And then what I'm gonna do is take one of these. You get these with, uh, I also have the link to this below. You get these for like, sell, they get them on selfie sticks and that kind of stuff. And it's designed to hold the cell phone. So what I'm going to do is um, screw this on here. And then uh, stick this into the controller. Sort of like this. Um, and push this into here. Now one of the things, I, I sort of have mixed feelings about this. That this will ride up into the controller like this. And then what will happen is these two will taper in. Now, uh, this is kind of nice in a way because you can get your fingers in here, as you see my fingers are, and you can hold it as well as uh, adjust it. But now what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up the head, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take my iPhone 5, and then what we're going to do is kind of a little bit hard to work around this camera. But we're just going to set it in there like this, and bam! Uh, this is pretty cool. Now, you can adjust this, say, you know, because being down here, maybe I want it to go up a little bit further, or I have a different size phone, I can simply adjust this upward, for example, like this, to push it up more over the sticks, and I'll adjust this right here, and then boom, I can, I can have it up here. I actually like it the other way a little bit better. Uh, adjust it down. So I thought this was a neat, really neat design because it's very flexible and it's not, even with the, the, the ball head is actually pretty light and uh, yeah, I like it this way better. And the pieces, I'll be able to put um, a guard on this. Let's, let's actually take a look at that. So this is what I really like about it. This is a sunshade guard that I, I came up with for the, uh, the 5S uh, a while ago. Uh, I think it's out there on Thingiverse. But as you can kind of see from this, um, well, one of the mistakes I did is I made this white so I get glare through there. I have to do another one in black. But you see how the mount will actually hold this as well as the sun visor. So this has nice sun rejection. So I can, I can fly this uh, and see the screen actually very easy. So I'm really liking this mount and I think I'm going to use this uh, quite a bit when I'm not using a tablet. So. Uh, anyways, if you got a 3D printer, I'd definitely suggest printing this out. Again, I'll have links to the um, all this stuff down below. So if you want to print this out, I'll have the link to it where you can get the ball heads and the, the nylon screws and all that kind of stuff in the links below. But I tell you what, this is a pretty cool configuration. So, hey, I'm giving this one a thumbs up. You know how it works. Subscribe button's coming over there. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about for lunch or what you had. And uh, hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.